Hey YouTube, it's Lama Chicken Poop here. And as you might all know, uh, the new jailbreak for the iPods and iPhones is out. Snowbreeze, right? And today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is um, make the custom boot logos or the NOR for them so that you don't have to completely restore but you just flash NORing. So first what you're going to have to do of course is well find the images that you want and I already have them picked out so I'm just going to show you. So first thing you're going to do is open Photoshop alright there we go All right. So let that open and everything. Right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm got yeah, like seven other things open. That's why it's taking so long. All right. So now you have to go up to here. And go file and new and make it 320 by 480 pixels 72 resolution and basically everything you see there and click OK alright so you're gonna get that then you're gonna have to go down here double click on it just so it comes up and it says layer 0 and color none mode normal opacity 100 percent and click OK then you're just gonna go and erase everything there so it's just the checkered background. Alright. So then what you're going to have to do is go and open the picture that you want. And I believe mine is right here. Or maybe it's right here. Nope, it's this one. Alright. So that is the one I'm going to be using. My friend made this. I'm not going to take any credit for it because he is like a freaking master at this, but he says he just fools around with it. So anyway, I'm going to make this so I can see both it once. All right. And if it's a, if it comes up and your picture says it's indexed, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but like that, then just go up to image and go mode and and just click on RGB and then it'll change the background and then all you're gonna do is just click the layer and drag it and drop it on to here alright so you got that that is pretty much all you have to do then you're just gonna go up in like one corner right here and just erase it right there that will be your transparent pixels and then just go file and save for web and devices and it will come up with this, then you're going to go here and click on the little drop down and click on PNG 8. Alright, so that's about it, and then you just click save. And name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it what it says, untitled dash 1. No, I'm not, I'm going to make it untitled dash 2. Alright, then just click save. Alright, you're done there. Then, you're going to open Snowbreeze. Alright, there we go. Click Allow. Alright. So now you have Sobeys open. Just click OK and click the next arrow. Click Expert Mode. Click Next. And browse for your IPSW. Mine's always on the desktop. As you can see, I have a shitload of them. That's because that's all the boot logos I've made. So this is the one. So that's iPod Touch 2nd Gen. Just open and click. Just start processing it. Alright. 
There we go. And click I understand. And as you can see, it's confirmed it's iPod Touch 2G. It's right here. Alright, so click next. And then go general, next. Now, all you're gonna have to do here is just click this button right here, the first one, make IPSW NOR only. It'll get rid of that. Then click next, and it'll come straight up to the boot logos. So browse. That's Ryan. Downloads. And. No, pictures is where it is. There it is. <laughs> and click OK. And, you know, I've never really been able to figure that little circle thing out. Um, so, I've made this one just differently, so I'm just going to use that one quick. Okay, that wasn't it. There we go. So, I've, I'll, if I find out the update, I'll post another video. There will be, like, a little area somewhere right like right here probably is where I'll put the thing for the new video so oh okay sweet um, then you're just gonna click next and click build IPSW and click start and just let it do its thing and I'm just gonna set this off to the side because I gotta answer text quick I'll just leave it right there. All Alright, so now it's done, and you're just going to exit off, and it should be on your desktop, right there. So then, all you have to do is open iTunes, And then just turn your iPod off. Crap, my battery's dying on my camera. Alright. Then just hold the home button and connect the cable. And continue to hold the home button. As you can see, it's already in my boot logo right now. And so it goes into recovery mode. Then iTunes will start having a spasm attack, saying that like your iPod's in recovery mode, you have to do crap to it, blah 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 blah. If it will work. There we go. All right. Then just click OK, and again you're going to have to shift restore, so let me do that quick. Alright, so now you're just going to browse for your NOR that you just made, and it seems to be right here. I click open, and it's going to extract it. gone
and there it is. That's all you have to do to get your custom boot logos working. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And send me any questions you have. If it's not working, for example, I can help you with that. And that's about it. Bye.